Welcome back to our math lessons. Our lesson today is an introduction to fractions. The objective of this lesson is to learn how to simplify fractions and how to change from an improper fraction to a mixed number or the opposite. First of all, a fraction is a ratio between two integers so any two integers a over b written in this form we call this a fraction such as 1 over 2 or half 5 over 11 13 over 50 and so on for example 3 over 4 or three quarters is a fraction this number we call it the numerator and this number down here we call it the denominator every fraction has many equivalent fractions just by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator with a constant number you will have many equivalent fractions for example 3 over 4 is equal to 6 over 8 if you multiply 2 by both the numerator and the denominator you will have 6 over 8 but if you multiply them by 5 you will have 15 over 20 and if you multiply them by 10 you will have 30 over 40 and so on there is endless equivalent fractions for this fraction in the same way you can find equivalent fractions just by dividing both the numerator and the denominator with a constant number let us take an example on that if we took 30 over 40 as a fraction try to divide both the numerator and the denominator with 2 you will have 15 over 20 now 15 over 20 try to divide the numerator and the denominator by 5 you will have 3 over 4 but now we can't divide 3 and 4 with a constant number but one so this is the simplest form for this fraction and this what we call simplifying so let us see how can we simplify fractions example one simplify 35 over 50 all of us know that 35 is equal to 5 times 7 and 50 is 10 times 5 which and 10 is 2 times 5 times 5 now just cancel common factors in both the numerator and the denominator and the remaining numbers are 7 over 2 times 5 which is 10 and this is the most simple fraction which is equivalent for 35 over 50 example 2 simplify 63 over 99 63 is 9 times 7 
So we can write it 3 times 3 times 7. 99 is 9 times 11. So we can write it 3 times 3 times 11. And we can cancel common factors. So the final answer is going to be 7 over 11. Example 3. Simplify 84 over 300. There is an easy way to do simplifying for large numbers. And that is by using factorization. So let us factorize 84. We can divide it by 2. It will give us 42. And this we can divide by 2 also. We have 21. 21 can be divided by 3. It will give us 7. 7 is divisible by 7 only. So now we have 1. Also try to factorize 300. It is divisible by 2. We will have 150. Also divisible by 2. We have 75. This one is divisible by 3. We have 25. Divisible by 5. We have 5. Divided by 5. You will have 1. Now just rewrite your fraction as a multiplication of the factors of each the numerator and the denominator. So 84 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 7 and 300 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. Now let us cancel common factors and our final answer is going to be 7 over 25. Now notice please that 0, if it is divided by any number, the answer is going to be a 0. For example, 0 divided by 8 is equal to 0 divided by 15 is equal to 0 divided by 100 all of these is equal to 0 whatever you divide 0 by the answer is 0 but if you divide any number by 0 this is undefined operation. We can't have an answer for this. So for example, 8 divided by 0 or 1000 divided by 0 or anything else, this, these are undefined. We can't say that the answer is 0 or anything else. 3 over 7, 7 over 11, 25 over 36, and so on. All these fractions are called proper fractions because the numerator is less than the denominator. But 5 over 3, 11 over 7, 48 over 35, and so on. All these fractions are called improper fractions. And that is because the numerator is larger than the denominator. 2 and 1 third, 14 and 2 over 9, 5 and 1 over 100, such a fractions are called mixed numbers. We can change from improper fraction to a mixed number. 
or we can change from a mixed number to an improper fraction and this what we going to see now example one change 17 over 3 to a mixed number to change an improper fraction to a mixed number we are going to use long division so divide 17 by 3 17 divided by 3 we have 5 5 times 3 is 15 subtract we have a remainder of 2 now to write the improper fraction as a mixed number you will put the same denominator here and the remainder you have got in this division you will put it here in the numerator and your answer which is 5 you will put it as a whole number beside the fraction and our answer is 5 and 2 over 3 this is the mixed number which represents 17 over 3 example 2 change 78 over 7 to a mixed number we will go and do our long division 7 divided by 7 we have 1 1 times 7 is 7 subtract we have 0 bring 8 down 8 divided by 7 we have 1 1 times 7 is 7 subtract we have 1 so now easily we can write our mixed number this 11 is going to be here and the remainder is going to be here and we will not change our denominator so our answer is 11 and 1 over 7 now let us learn how to change a mixed number to an improper fraction example 3 change 2 and 1 third to, to an improper fraction this is the way we do it this is our mixed number first step multiply your denominator by the whole number and the answer go and add it to the numerator so our answer is going to be no change for the denominator 3 times 2 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 let us take another example change 5 3 over 8 to an improper fraction again we multiply 8 by 5 and we add their answer to 3 we don't change 8 8 times 5 is 40 40 plus 3 is 43 by this we reach to the end of our lesson thank you